guys, it's me, Allie. Could I, could I possibly be any more extra right now with this sweater? Just a fun little fact, this sweater is actually from the kids department. I ordered it off of Forever 21. They only had like two in stock and they only had them in the kids sizes. So I ordered an extra large and it fits, but the sleeves, they're, they're a little small. I just couldn't pass it up. It's actually velvet. So it's like, it's super extra. And I thought that it would be absolutely perfect for this video because this video is going to be very extra. I ordered like 10, nine or 10, mystery pin boxes. I don't know. I don't have any words. I literally just filmed one of these like three weeks ago and in that three week span I ordered like 10 more boxes and I already opened up one on my insta story so I think that I have nine boxes for you guys today. Not so much for you guys, more for me. I like to say for you guys but it's, it's really for me and I'm just I'm very, very excited. My 30th birthday is tomorrow. It's on November 22nd. By the time this actually goes up, my birthday will have passed. So this was my excuse to just buy myself a bunch of pins because it's my birthday month. But I'm gonna most likely do this in December, and in January, and in February, because I just, I have no, no self-controls when it comes to Disney pins lately. It is just an absolute obsession. Obsession. And I think that you guys understand how I feel and I think that you guys feel the same way and I think that's why we're just, we're so connected. So enough of this intro, let's jump right on into it. So this video is going to go in no particular order. I have some oldie book goodie boxes in here and I also have some brand new boxes that I have never opened up. They're not necessarily brand new, but they're brand new to me. I ordered all of these off of eBay and I ordered one of the boxes off of the Disney Shop Parks app, but a majority of these boxes come from eBay and they were, they were moderately priced. Some were a little obnoxiously expensive, but most of them were pretty reasonable. So I'm just gonna jump on in and pull out the first box, which is the Disney Princess Cameo box. This is just the Disney Princess Mystery Collection box. I have opened this up on my channel a couple of times and I already have Belle, Ariel, Tiana, and Jasmine. I would love to get Cinderella because I just got married and our hashtag had to do with Cinderella because my last name has to do with Cinderella now which is just like absolutely the most amazing thing in the entire world. My new last name, it has to do with like a little play on the word Cinderella and I would just be really happy with Cinderella. I would also be really happy with Rapunzel. I would be happy with any of the ones that I did not open up already. So let's start this video. Let's hopefully start this video on a good note. Here are my two little black baggies and the first pin, I always do this, I always forget to get scissors. But the first pin that I am getting is a duplicate. I am getting Belle. So if you're gonna get any duplicate, Belle is the duplicate to get. She is my favorite princess and she is just absolutely stunning and I'm going to keep this I'm not going to trade it out because I plan on making a pair of Mickey ears very very soon that are Belle inspired and I think I might put this like right in the center of the bow I think that would add like a really nice little extra touch to the ears so first one not the best look but it's doable second one is Ariel <laughs> So I got two of the ones that I already have, but that is bound to happen because I order these pins so, so frequently. And this is also like a blessing in disguise because my sister is obsessed with Ariel. I've mentioned this like a million times on my channel. It's her favorite princess. She has like four tattoos that are Ariel inspired. She named her dog Ariel. She has so much Ariel merch at her house. And now she's gonna have a nice little Ariel pin as well. So although I got two duplicates in that box, I would still consider that a pretty strong start to this video because they are duplicates that I will be using and giving away to make people feel really happy. So not the worst box in the entire world. We're gonna move on now to the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas box. This is the Mickey Head Collection. I did this in my last video and I got Zero and I got Jack and now I am hoping to get Sally. Christmas Jack, Halloween Town, The Mayor, Oogie Boogie, just any of the ones that I didn't open up in the last video. I'm hoping this entire video is not a duplicate video. So the first pin that I am pulling out, I really, 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 really want Sally. It is zero. What's happening right now? My luck is like seriously running out. He's so cute though. 
I don't want all duplicates. Oh my god, Oogie Boogie! Oh my god, so worth it. So, so worth it. I don't even care that I got a duplicate. I will just trade this one out next time that I go to Disney. I got Oogie Boogie. I'm so happy about that. He is amazing. I wish that this would like glow in the dark. A lot of his merch glows in the dark, but it doesn't look like it glows in the dark. I don't really care. I'm so happy about this pin right now. So I've decided that I'm going to open up all the oldie but goodie boxes, all the boxes that I've opened up previously on my channel before first, and then save all the brand new boxes for last. So I'm going to move on now to the Walt Disney World box. That's all it says on here. It is just Walt Disney World. You can get such awesome pins in this box. I've opened it up twice before and received the exact same pins in both boxes. I received Tinkerbell and I received Bray Rabbit, and I'm just really holding my confidence out that I get at least two new pins this time. No duplicates because like I said, the last time that I opened up this box, it was the exact same pins, I think in the exact same order as when I opened it up the first time. I'm hoping for Haunted Mansion, I'm hoping for Duffy, I'm hoping for the Aliens, I'm hoping for Mickey, I'm hoping for Donald, for Wally, just not Tinkerbell and not Brer Rabbit. These are just circular pins, so you can't really like feel around for them, and they do have cardboard around them to make them a little bit more of a mystery. So I'm noticing right now that it is red, and Tinkerbell is green, and Brer Rabbit was pink, so I'm getting a new one. I just don't know what it is yet. <sighs> I'm getting Mickey Mouse, my main man. Oh my God, he's wearing a pin lantern. He is wearing a freaking pin lanyard. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you, pin gods. Thank you for not giving me Tinkerbell or Br'er Rabbit. I am getting Mickey Mouse, the main man himself, and it has the little D right on the bottom. He looks like a tourist. Freaking love this. Okay, so that was a good one. Let's look at the next one. Please don't be pink. Please don't be green. Please don't be red. Did they make like a thousand Tinkerbell ones? Like what even? I, how could I get Tinkerbell in all three boxes? It's okay, I got Mickey. But I really wanted another one. I'm kind of hesitant on buying this box again because it seems like I'm getting so many duplicates, but I did get Mickey and he makes up for it. And now I have a new one to trade. I believe I'm going to Disney for like literally one day in April. We're going on a family vacation to Florida and we're only gonna do Disney one day. And let me tell you, that day I'm gonna be doing a lot of pin trading. I have like eight of these now. Not really, I have three. But still, I'm happy about this one. Why? Seriously, why? The next box that I have opened up previously in the past is the New Fantasyland Beauty and the Beast pin box. Now I'm not holding my breath for this box because I have opened this box like three times before and I have a lot of these pins. I'm missing like only four in the collection and this is a 10 pin collection so the chances that I get a duplicate are very very high for this box but I'm just I'm holding strong and I'm just hoping for it. I would really love Belle in her blue dress. I would love Mrs. Potts and Chip. I need the three girls that like swoon over Gaston and I would love the Beast. So hopefully I get one of those four. And the first one that I am getting is Cogsworth and I have Cogsworth already. This is like a fail video guys. But again, I kind of, I kind of knew that this was gonna happen for this box because I have so many of them. Still really awesome, I just already have him. I just want one good one. I got the beast! Oh, hey puppies! Hi puppies, you excited? <laughs> Ab just came in to say that he was going to get food and Jax came in to give me little kisses. Just in time for me to get the beast. So it seems like I'm getting like one duplicate and one good pin. And I'm okay with that, because this pin is amazing. It is Beast all dressed up. He is looking good. And what a perfect time for Adam to come in and say that he's gonna get the food, because the Beast's real name is Adam, or so I've been told. It's not like documented that it is Adam, but 
Oh my god, I'm so happy about this pin. Yay! And to end out all the boxes that I've opened up previously here on my channel, we're going to open up the highly anticipated Disney Films limited release mystery collection plus chasers pin box. I've opened this up three times before and I've received amazing pins. So there is a chance that I will get a duplicate right now, but I'm kind of holding out for this box because it is a 42 pin collection box plus chasers. So hopefully... I won't get any duplicates. I'm not holding my breath though because it's not, not seeming to be a super awesome pin unboxing for me. Let's hope that one of these or both of these are new pins for me. And the first one is a new pin! Yay! And it is Lion King! It is either Simba or Mufasa. You can't really tell from this pin and they're standing on Pride Rock and they're roaring and it's so pretty. It's purple and I got a new pin and it's not a duplicate. Yay! Alright, one is good. Let's hope that the second one is also equally as good. I don't know if I have this pin or not. If I don't, it's amazing. It is Ariel and Prince Eric when they're getting married. But I feel like I have this pin. I have to go check. If I don't have this pin, I'm super pumped about it. But I think I have this pin already. So I just checked, I actually do have that pin. What are the odds? But silver lining, one out of two, it's really not that bad. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna be very, very positive for this video and one out of two is not bad. I'm getting a brand new pin and I'm getting another pin that I could just trade out for an even cooler pin when I go to Walt Disney World. So it's all good guys, it is all good. I'm going to move on now to the boxes that I've never opened up before, so yay, no duplicates. The first box that I am opening up is the Epcot 35 Mystery Pin Collection. I'm gonna be extremely honest with you, I have no clue what pretty much any of these symbols are in the back. I think the one that's kind of like a windmill is Figman, and it's the pink one, so if I want any of these pins, I guess I would want that one. I'm gonna keep both of these regardless, but I'm just, I'm not sure what all of these symbols represent in Epcot. This is, again, celebrating the 35th anniversary of Epcot. Jax is freaking out right now. Okay, so the two pins that I'm getting in this collection, this is like, they're, they're different. I have no clue what this is. It is completely blue and then it has some like wavy lines on it. If you guys know what this represents in Epcot, please let me know in the description below. I am going to keep it because it again represents the 35th anniversary of Epcot and Epcot is my second favorite part. Magic Kingdom is my number one, but I love Epcot so, so much. I'm not sure what that represents, but it's really cool. <gasps> And I think I got the figment one. These are like holographic kind of. And this one is like red and pink. And I'm pretty sure this one represents figment. Yay! So I have three boxes left and I'm going to save the two that I'm the most excited for, for last. So I'm gonna move on to the third last box in this video. Does that make any sense? Third to last box in this video. It is the Pixar Party 30th anniversary pin pack. I'm so pumped about this. You can get 16 pins in all and it is just a bunch of different characters from the Pixar movies. And this one also has eight chaser pins that are limited edition of 200 and 50 each. Now, I love Pixar movies, but I don't watch them religiously, except for Toy Story, so there's a chance I'm gonna get some pins in here that I don't know who the characters' names are, but that's okay. I'm pretty much keeping, I'm dropping everything on the floor today. I am pretty much keeping all the pins that I get in this collection because I think that this box is so cool. So let's open that up. I'm hoping for something Toy Story related and the First one that I'm getting is Monsters Inc. related and I love it! Oh my god, I love it so much. It's actually dying. It's a limited release! It's a chaser! I got a chaser! This video is turning around. So it's the abdominal snowman and he is holding the yellow snow cones. And the snow cones are actually like little gemstones. I love this. So awesome. 
And I don't know if you can tell, but the backing is the Pixar ball. So freaking cool. So this is the first pin. I have to go on the floor now because I dropped it. The second pin is... Okay, so this is one of the characters that I can't remember the name of. I don't even remember what movie this is from. I'm not sure. Keeping it. And it's another limited release. Did I just get two chasers? Or are these all limited release? Maybe it's not a chaser. I don't think I got chasers. I think that these are just all limited release. I don't know. I don't care. They're awesome. Those are totally not chaser pins. I got really overly excited, but you know, they're still really awesome pins. So again, it is all good. I'm gonna move on to the second to last box. These last two boxes are the reveal and conceal boxes. And I think that these are so phenomenal. So basically you get to see and pick out one of the pins and I picked the Cinderella pin because again, it kind of represents my last name now. And then you get a mystery pin on the back. So you get one of eight reveal pins and then you get one of eight mystery conceal pins. So the first pin is obviously Cinderella because that is the one that I picked out. That is the one that they had on eBay and I was very, very happy for it. And then your conceal pin is in a little baggie. So I'm gonna rip the baggie off. Here's my Cinderella pin. So, so good. I'm pretty sure the conceal pins are the guys. All the revealed ones are the princesses and all of the guys are the princes. I am right, I got Prince Eric! <gasps> oh yes, oh my God, it's like translucent a little bit. If I wanted any of these pins, it definitely would have been Prince Eric or the Beast. And I don't even know if the Beast was part of it, but I have Cinderella now and I have Prince Eric. All is good in the world. <laughs> and the final box that I'm going to be opening up in this video is another reveal and conceal pin pack. This is the Disney's Paint the Night New Electric Parade from Disneyland. Now I've never been to Disneyland before, but I love all the Disney characters, so I thought, hey, why not? The first thing that I will say about these reveal and conceal packs, the pins are huge. The pins that I just opened up in that Disney royalty collection, huge. This pin right here, huge. So again, you get to pick one out and then you get a mystery one. The one that I picked out was the Mike and Sully Paint the Night pin. It's really, really cool. And then you get one mystery conceal pin. So let's see what I am getting. Here is my massive, massive Mike and Sully pin, and it has some like glitter detail on it, which is really, really cool. I don't even know what the choices are for this one, so I wouldn't even know what to pick. Oh, I'm getting Captain Hook and Peter Pan! I love. And again, it has a lot of glitter detail, and it says limited release, which is not a chaser, I know, but it is limited release, and that's really cool. And that is it for this video. I would say overall, this was pretty successful. I could have gone without some of the duplicates, but there are plenty of worse things out there in the world. And you know what? Now I get to look forward to some pin trading when I go in April. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos. Again, I love you guys. To Walt Disney World in the back. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys.